Kaylin. Kelvin and we got Ken. Good. Alright, I got Kenneth Rinson, Kelvin Hopkins, and Kaylin Holt to my right. Ken, if you want to start. Ken Kratzer, Sons of America Legion Radio. I uh, got to start defense. Made the last play of the game, and I got to ask uh, Ken Brinson about uh, you know the last drive, and you made yeah the first and ten at the uh, uh, thirteen, and you were able to stop that play and make that big fourth and eight play. Tell us about the last moments of the game. Um, well, I, I guess first off, you know Cole made a great play on the ball, and uh, just seeing seeing our defense come together and, and just just play hard and, and believe. And, uh, and play our assignments is, is really inspiring to see. So um, I really just think that that play was a, was a result of you know doing what Coach Bateman tells us to do every day and just you know, having your eyes on your man and, and just playing fast. It's so got to go to Kelvin and just talk about you. You had a big day passing the ball, a big day running the ball. This, what were your thoughts uh, out there uh, today? Um, just make plays for the team, um, you know, just get the ball into the right guy's hands and, and, and move the ball and get first downs and, and, and get a win. That's what it comes down to. And, uh, just playing for the team, trying to make play as many plays as possible to put our team in a position to win the game. And Kayla, maybe ask you about, uh, you got the game off to a good start with that touchdown catch. Just tell us about the play if you would. Oh, uh, I wish I scored on that one. I ended up All right, in, that's right, to the one. Yeah, um, it was a, uh, it was a great pass by, by Kelvin and an extremely, extremely good block by KJ Klein uh, that if anybody caught, you know, it just happened to happen to be me. Uh, it, was, it was a great block and great execution by these guys. Uh, it was really big for our team. We needed that, uh, that extra push. Steven, okay. I'll stay on uh, Kaylin. I guess I wrote this right. But uh, Kaylin, I guess, first of all, obviously this game has a little bit of meaning to you, but just talk to me about you know, how big of a win this is for you guys as a team, just, you know, just what were the emotions after the game, just kind of where was the mindset of the team? Uh, to start off, every single person on the team bought in, whether it was scout team, starting, back up, you know, every single person throughout the week bought in uh, to what we were trying to accomplish, which is 1-0 every week. And uh, considering that, that I'm from the islands, uh, every person on the team felt that they were a part of it. They had that extra drive to, to, to win. Kelvin, for you, I feel as if you guys kind of beat them at their own game there for a while. You guys were running the ball as you usually do, but then you did not hesitate to pass, and you were completing some big passes early on. So how important do you feel the passing game was in this particular matchup to kind of keep them honest and, you know, keep you guys, keep your drives going? You know, you guys were sustaining drives throughout the entire game. Uh, I think it's important. Um, it definitely gives the O line a little bit of help. It, it gets the, those linebackers a little bit loose and, and thinking about pass and safeties can't run into the box as fast as possible. Um, it, it, it really helps them out a lot, and, and I think that's kind of what helped our, our run game a lot this uh, this game. And just being able to, to get that push on the front really opened up the run game for us. But uh, like I said, it was just getting the ball to playmakers. Uh, Christian Hayes had a few good catches, and like Kalen's uh, made a great play. I didn't, I did no work. I threw the ball for three yards. He took it 66. You know, so it was just getting the ball to playmakers as fast as possible and, and and letting them make plays. I feel as if, other than that one fourth and one, you guys converted all the first downs that you kind of really needed to get. You know, at those must get moments. What's this team's mentality when it comes to a short yardage situation? Obviously, you guys move the ball in chunks, but. You guys are getting the job done today. Was there just you you guys going in the huddle and just saying we're going to get this, no problem? Uh, we, we pride ourselves on being a really good short yardage team. Um, if you run the triple, that, that's something you got to take pride in. And uh, it, it's on our goal board. It's something that we work towards every week is just to be uh, in the positive on third down, fourth down, and things like that. So when, when it's time, you know, the O-line, they get up for it. They're, they're begging for it to be certain plays, and they want it to their side so they can knock somebody back. And, and they do a great job doing that. So when we get in those short yard situations, third and fourth down, it, it's time to pin your ears back and go get the first down. And last question, just Ken, you, you guys didn't get any turnovers this game, but you were creating some trouble on defense with your sacks. Just talk to me about the defensive pressure you guys put on them today. Just 
how you felt, you know, you were able to change the game a little bit there? Um, I think as a, as a whole defensive unit, uh, we had Coach Bateman said, and I, I believe it too, we have the best week of practice we've had so far this season. Um, everyone was locked in and focused, and I, I think it showed out on the field. So, you know, you had Jimmy Harris, James Nautical, running with his hair on fire to um, sack the quarterback. Um, it was just great to see those guys play and, and to be a part of that. So, Ken, were you trying to take a little bit of advantage on the ed on the edge rushing and blitzing that fourth down sack? Can you talk a little bit about that and what happened on that play? Uh, so. Coach Bateman told us to just pin our ears back and go, and, uh, and that's, that's what I did. So I was lucky to make it there, and uh, yeah, that was nice. Hey, Caitlin, we talked about this game earlier in the week. Um, now that it's, it's completed, how special was it to play in front of a lot of your family and friends today and you know, pick up the victory? Yeah, there was a lot of work going up here. Um, about, about 30 people, maybe. Uh, just having them cheer when you can even hear them. They're pretty lot of people. Uh, they, they love coming to ball games. Uh, it's, a, it's a really great victory. You know, we, we talked about it throughout the week, you know, um, it, it means more now than what I thought it would have previously. It, it's, I can't even explain it in words. It's uh, been waiting for this game for a long time. It means a lot. Kevin, I know football is a team sport. The matchup between you and Cole McDonald, is there anything that you took maybe personal this week, or did you? When you were preparing? No, no, not at all. Um, you know, it was, it, it's a team game, and you know, I just want to do my part. Uh, I, I just want to be be a, a part, do my one eleven. Coach Bateman talks about that to defense. I think that's one of the best things I've ever heard as a football player is do your one eleven, and that's what I'm trying to go out there and do every play. Whether you know I'm handing the ball off and going, I'm just trying to do my one eleven to help the team win. What do you think a win like this does? For next week, where you have to go on the road and face a you know pretty good Oklahoma team, um, you know I, I think it gives us a little bit of confidence. You know uh, we we care a lot about winning at home and things like that, but uh, we're going to go down there to and play a great team in, in Oklahoma. And we just got to come out ready to practice and, and, and focus, starting with tomorrow, just getting in there early and watching film and, and breaking them down and going down there ready to win and compete. This one go back to Ken. Uh, again, you held Hawaii to 42 yards rushing. It was like 12 yards until the last drive. And then it seemed like you were the, on defense, pass defense. Elijah Riley, Jalen McClinton were trying to force the wide receivers to the sideline. And, and, uh, and that seemed to work most of the time. Just tell us a little bit about uh, the strategy on defense going in. Um, I mean, I think Coach Bateman did a great job this week kind of keeping it simple. Uh, we didn't really have a very complicated uh, scheme drawn up, but I think I think we executed it um, effectively, and you know, Eli and Jalen, those guys do a great job. Gibby does a great job. You know, our whole defense, I think, played pretty well today, so that was good to see. Last, last question. Yeah, hey, just ask Kelvin, uh, you look a little tired, but uh, tell us a little bit, uh, do you have more confidence, you've won two games now, do you have more confidence in your role running the offense? I, I would say so, but my confidence comes from my teammates. Uh, they have confidence in me, I have confidence in them, and, and, and that's kind of what we're building upon, and uh, just getting comfortable out there and, and trusting the guys that I have in front of me, the O-line and the B-backs and the slots and the wide receivers. I think that there's, there's a, there's a trust level with, it, with this team right now, and, and we believe in each other, we believe what we're trying to do, and, and that's, that's where my confidence comes from, is just that having those group of guys with me that believe in me and I believe in them. Thanks.